society for Krishna consciousness. We decided to take some of the townspeople along to meet them. We found Jack, a pensioner who was born and bred in the town and used to watch as King George rode past in his carriage. Joy, landlady of the local pub, and Rebecca, a housewife with her daughter Nikki. They were welcomed to the hall by David Naismith, the vice principal. This is Jack. Very pleased to meet you, Jack. And this is Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca. Little Nikki down there. Nikki. Hello. <laughs> and this is Joy. Hello. Pleased to meet you, Joy. Well, can I leave you to it? If you'll introduce them and take them around. All right. Way out in the country. Oh, it's a gorgeous spot, yeah. though, isn't it? Oh, yes, no doubt about that at all. Yeah. It's, uh, it's an ideal for environment for everybody. It's ideal for children, too. It's a lovely old place. It's sort of dominated the area for, well, for so long. If you're dressed with very bright colours, is it yeah, uh, symbolic to your religion? Yeah, well, this is a traditional Indian Indian dress. It kind of is like a priest. The priests wear this kind of uh, yeah. dress. But you were allowed to wear pullovers and animals oh, yes, <laughs> because of the weather, obviously. This Oh, yeah. And after the initial introductions, they set off on a tour of the hall with its 60 bedrooms and imposing staterooms. First stop was the kitchens. At one time, these literally prepared banquets for a king. Now it's all vegetarian. Even the wine cellars have gone, as the group doesn't drink alcohol. In fact, they don't smoke or even drink tea and coffee. From there, it was to the stables, now schoolrooms for the children. The society's main reason for buying the house was to turn it into a school for children from all over the country. There are 15 teachers living there now, and more will come as the school grows. Yes. Next one, she can What's your reaction now you have, man? Uh, well, they seem very kind people. You know a bit more now, having met them and talked. Yeah. What's your reaction now? I think they, they're genuine enough to themselves. Whether other people will think they're genuine, I can't say, but to, they do seem fairly genuine. Rebecca, your, your little girl's having a, a ball over there. Yes. <laughs> What's your reaction to them? Uh, well, they seem very friendly. Uh, one thing I was surprised is that they don't give up their worldly goods, which is something that you'd yeah. imagine they did. Talking to one of the young mothers with the young children, she says she's got a fridge and gas yeah. cooker and so on in her own room, so it's pretty handy. Everything seems to be well worked out. But the, the place will be basically a school. Would you consider sending your daughter here? Um, I'd think about it, yes, because... Uh, Partly the way they said they're not religiously biased. Um, if you send your child to a Catholic school, they get drum Catholic. If you send them to a Church of England school, they get that. So uh, to a great extent, I think it might allow the children more freedom to themselves. So they might fit in quite well into the, the local community. Probably. Well, my one seems to fit in quite happily as it is, yeah. Interesting new customers down in that part of the world. Now